Alright guys, Roulette here and welcome back to another quick easy video tutorial sort of thing. This time it's just going to be on adding atmosphere, depth and emotion to your tracks, you know, kind of filling out spaces, making your tracks not sound so sparse, you know, just kind of adding vibes and feelings as well. So let's just get straight into it. So what I've got here is already a quick loop which I will let you hear and yeah, here it is. Now it's obviously like nothing special but it's just kind of to showcase how I got that depth of three things like and this is very easy like it's not sort of something that you're going to have problems with so what have I got here so I'll name them for you this one is the piano oh wait this, that's not the piano my bad I think this is the piano yes that's the piano so I will name that piano and yeah so all I've got here is major seventh chords D, B, C, sharp. Now, before, it, this is basically what it was before. Now, it sounds nice, but obviously we do want, the topic of this video was depth and atmosphere. So what we've done to this, we have sent it to the mixer, um, which you basically just press the, this little square box and hit control L and it will send it to a new mixer track so I'll do that now I'll send it to another one and there we've got piano so once it's there what we're going to do we are going to add some reverb now I did earlier I did this earlier I recorded this earlier and I did it on um, in the Nexus like actually here but I'm doing this for people who don't have Nexus who just are using maybe stock plugins or whatever it may be um, I'm doing this for you guys so yeah if you got a piano, send it to the mixer and we will go here and we will add some reverb. So we click slot one and this little arrow and we will select fruity reverb two. Now once that's up, you will see this this here, which you know hopefully most of you guys know what fruity reverb is, but if not, I'll tell you it's basically just it's kinda like added noise, kinda like uh, echo. Yeah, a bit of an echo that you can control and manipulate to make it sound nice. So this is without any reverb again. You know, kind of flat. I mean, not flat, but not amazing. So we add reverb. Now I like to right click on these arrows, hit large hall, and then pull the wet down, pull it to mono here, which is pulling this one down, and then pull the decay up and put the size up a little and the low cut up. Now I'll exaggerate that a bit more so you guys can hear it a bit better. Now we'll just keep it there, kind of subtly and nice. Now we will go to another slot too. By the way, sorry guys if I sound sick. You know, I've, I've got a bit of a cold and I'm very ill right now, but um, I'm, I'm good enough to do this video, so but let's continue. Um, free delay too, we'll add as well. And with this one, we're gonna add ping pong here which is what ping pong means it's weird to say i'm sure it sounds weird coming from a scottish voice as well but yep we've added ping pong here we're going to turn the volume down a little bit here and go to time and right click the time and set it to eight steps that's what i'm going to do for this video and um, you can obviously set it to whatever you'd like maybe one two three four they all do like if you set it to two you'll hear like do 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 <laughs> We're going to set it mildly to eight steps and we're just going to pull it up to there so you'll hear it go down down perfect so that's reverb and delay on the main piano which is like step one step two i've added a pad so this one is a pad so we'll rename this pad and what we'll do is yeah, I'll let you hear it. First of all, I'll solo it. So obviously it sounds very nice, very euphoric, very kind of like trancey, but yeah, that if we mix this with the piano, you'll hear it lifts the piano up and it makes it, it just fits well. And what we've done 
By the way, if you're wondering about the MIDI here, we have copied this MIDI from here with Control C. Once I've clicked this, Control C, and then we've went over here and hit Control V. Now I've done that there again to show you, but um, I have strummed it. I've got another video on strumming, but so we're going to just um, push this back into space quickly for you guys. I'm sorry about this. I just I did this video before and I had to re-record it, but. Yeah, so it's all done. It's, this is probably an easier format to follow anyway. So, done that. Now, this is the pad again. Um, we'll play that with the piano. Actually, I'm feeling that in an upper octave. Okay, so there we go, that was the problem the filter was on, so. Now we're going to put the filter back on actually and cut off some of the high end because it can be a bit too much on the ears, it can be, it can take up a bit too much frequency range, so I'll hit the master filter on and we'll put the cut off down a bit. I might change this reverb on this, just a large hall, and then pull the wet down, do it like this. Like that. that sounds good, and we're going to also, lastly, um, step three, um, we're going to add a Rhodes, so we'll solo the Rhodes for you. Now we can keep the roads as it is, we don't really need to do much to that. Oh wait, no, I lied, we do. We With the roads, um, if you're ever mixing roads and you're kind of wondering, why is it sounding so bad? Like, why does it sound so, you know, janky on my ears? It's because this is what happens if you put roads at full velocity. It kind of goes like, blah, like kind of, not nice, not a nice sound. A distortion so what we do with that we go to the velocity we've got a control here if this bar is not showing up just pull it up from the bottom it'll be like this and then yeah we'll pull it up and we're going to just pull this velocity right down like right down so it kind of it's played softly and then you'll hear like the just how much it changes And what this will do as well, we put it in a lower octave so it kind of adds more bass and depth as well. So we'll play all these three together and I'll let you hear what it sounds like. Sounds, sounds great, doesn't it? Well, that's kind of that's kind of what I was wanting to show you. That's the kind of end result, and that's all. That's just three layers. So that's all you're looking at here is three layers from a piano chord progression, which will add depth. You can play this through the whole instrumental. I usually play all like the chord through the whole instrumental, maybe drop it out once or twice. But yeah, that'll play through the whole instrumental, and that'll add so much depth and vibrance to your track, and it'll just fill out like empty frequencies um, and your artists will love you for this kind of stuff like they'll, they'll be thinking like how does he get that this kind of sound well just tell them I told you I showed you and yeah so we'll add some of the um, drums and the percussion and I'll let you hear what it sounds like I basically just made this in two seconds as you can see it's obviously the most basic beat in the world but it does it does sound really nice so I'll play it again and then that should be it
No, that sounds that sounds good to me. Um, obviously, it's just a chord progression. You can do this with some melodies as well. You know, add the roads, not a pad maybe, maybe, but you can, you know, add roads to add a bit more depth and melody. But hopefully, that helped you guys out. That's kind of what I do. I got a few requests saying, you know, your track's really atmospheric and nice sounding, um, primarily from Hail Caesar Beats. So thank you for that. I appreciate that, and I appreciate your support and everyone else's support that's been. You know, helping this channel out, commenting, liking the videos. Like, we just hit 300 subs and it, it feels great. It really does. Um, and I, I absolutely love what I'm doing here and I love the community I'm building. So, yeah, just from my voice to you guys, thank you so much for supporting and helping me out. It really, really does mean the world. So, that being said, take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.